Hello. Good morning. Uh, we are heading to Palembang today from Jakarta. Uh, try. Sorry. The system is warning about the seatbelt. Well, I drive uh, Mini Cooper Countryman uh, S Type today, Sport Type. Uh, I have equipped this car with many things that are important to, to drive, which as you see here, I have a place to put my mobile in case I want to check Google Maps, Waze. Then I have a camera over here, <coughs> and then the Etol machines. And then you see here, this car is uh, quite modern, sophisticated. The handle over here, the speedometer over here, and then all the control over here too. And then, although they still looks like sophisticated, but actually the control is not much. It's not so many. <coughs> Start over here. And then all the sensor, which I will explain later if I have time. And then the AC, air condition, and then the sound system over here. And then, then as usual, as a pilot, I always put this one sun shade over here. Pilot type, aviation type. And all the control over here too, maybe to control the light and the cabin and then the, the what is it called? The, uh, sunroof. Oh sunroof. Okay, sunroof. Okay. And then over here you see the handbrake. Oops, the cat, sorry. Cat. And then the, the transmission. You see here? And then I put all the necessary charging over here. Including the air purifier, small air purifier. And then this is the key of this uh, Cooper countryman. And what else? <coughs> yeah, as usual, I put some necessary the water bottle, the the what is it? The e money, all cut, and then this what do you call? It's a uh, anti offset disinfectant spray, just in case somebody will need it. And then also uh, anything necessary for this journey. So uh, this is my, I think it's almost the 20th, 20th over times to Palembang. Basically, I uh, return them back to Palembang, or sometimes I have to find, I have to meet somebody there for meetings for my, my business. So it will take usually eight hours in total from here to this uh, crossing jetty in Batahuni. It will take about one hour to one and a half, depend on how fast we drive. Uh, but I assume it's two hours, so it's actually we need another two hours for waiting for the ferry, and then uh, one hour travel time. So it's totally two hours for the ferry, so four hours, and another four hours for driving from the Lampung Jetty there, Lampung Port which is called, uh, not sorry, the Bakahuni port, yeah? From here to Merak port, it's about two hours, and Merak to Bakahuni port is about two hours, and then from Bakahuni to Palembang, it's about four hours also. So totally about eight hours. So uh, I, drove, I, drove, I drive this uh, Mini Cooper, I wanna check uh, how fast it will be during this travel, and then how fuel consumption, and then uh, how convenient, how comfort this will be, uh, I will let you know, and then Maybe I will have to refuel this when we arrive at the uh, Markport because now it's about less than half thing. Uh, okay, so I think that's all for the time being. Let, let, let us check and I will uh, give you some more information later during traveling. See you. Yes, uh, we are now in the toll route heading to Markport. Uh, you see this uh, quite uh, heavy traffic on the toll road and then please note that you have to be careful if you take the right lane because sometimes they can be just stopped suddenly and then we can be uh, uh, messed to one to each other so for one who ride to ride slow on the right you have to be uh, noticed that it's very dangerous to ride slow on the right side you have to take the middle side on the left side left lane middle lane. So you see that on the left side is more uh, current, you see, is rather than on the right side. 
So yeah, it's the habits of the people driving slow but on the right side, on the right lane. You should ride on the left side if you slow and give the right lane for the one who wants to overtake. So this is my advice. So you see, you stop in the middle of the toll road. Okay, now we are in the middle of the journey to uh, Rockport. You see, what I like from this car is, is that it can show this spot display, which is we can know exactly what is power that is produced and then the, the torques of uh, this car. While you see that this car, even though that uh, we are already reached 120 above, but the power that it used still less. And then the torch, because I press this uh, gas uh, speed a little bit uh, higher, I will have to overtake this uh, truck. And then the fuel consumption, I always uh, measure this uh, how, ma how, how many liters it needs for uh, instantly. So instantaneous fuel consumption. So I have to maintain it below the normal, below, be possible below 15, below 10. Okay. So we are in the uh, SBBU gas station. Uh, I refuel this uh, Pertamax Turbo. Uh, I think uh, we reached very f fuel efficiency, right? Yes, it's efficient. H how much is this uh, actually? It's, let's say it's 10, it's 11 to 12 kilometers per liter. Oh, okay, I see. So it's very efficient. Yes. So we almost reached the mark port, and then the, this is the final we will consume during this another 400 kilometers. The things uh, we have to prepare is the two hours before the time that we choose, and then choose. we are entering the port. So today we choose the executive terminal. They have two terminals, one is regular, another one is executive. You see the way they, they, they park the car. <laughs> and then this one is executive terminal. Uh, I choose the 10, 15, so it means that 8, 15, I can already pass these uh, places. So. We are inside the ferry right now. This is the process of how the car. This is the, I think, the last car already entered this ship. And then park over here. So after they give this uh, ticket to this officer, and they will go up. I think this is not the front part, but this is the end of the part. This is there's a uh, whole Buritan here. Buritan is mean it's on the back part. So we go upstairs. What is upstairs? You can take a look at people over here too. They have two decks. This is the lifeboat and then they have an open space like a cafeteria area over here they serve coffee instant noodle place to smoke actually they have give a space to smoke but you see all the people still smoke as they want this is the lifeboat So 
some instruction here. The ramp door. Let's go. Upstairs. Let's see what is there. There's another place over here too. It's like a one mini boiler. I think this ship is categorized as a quite big ship. I can load a lot of people, a lot of cars. So it's not really showing our historical road over here. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, it needs to be updated because there's no toll road over here. The toll road is very short. Can can, can we update it? Uh, we should we should update the road. I think uh, they they provide us a lot of software something like that. Is it this one or Mercedes? Yeah. This is software. Software. I don't know. But it's okay. Both. Okay. But this one is not the SD card. What the Mercedes SD card? But that doesn't matter. The only thing it must be. It can be updated. Okay, this is a uh, if going to Palembang, Pekan, Pekan Baru, or going to Sumatra Island, then we're going to Singapore or Kuala Lumpur or Penang or Thailand. Uh, actually, the, the appearance of the map is quite clear. It seems like an uh, aircraft, the airplane map. You see, yes. it's very clear. It's not like uh, very dark something like that. But the way is it that it's not really updated, so you can find. Uh, one third 
for where the Panama The traffic, the tariff for the store route up to Kayu Agung is 289,000 rupees. small car. Along this uh, 50 kilometers is the beginning of this uh, track from Lampung to Palembang. There's uh, obstacles that part of the route are still blocked by because of this uh, road improvement. So you see the trucking have already standby to take the right lane long before so sometimes sometimes it's in danger this uh, from the back, uh, especially when we are in high speed. And sometimes the truck also try to overtake without any uh, consideration of the speed on the car and behind them, so it's very dangerous. Uh, usually, if an uh, experienced driver, they should know that. Uh, if there is uh, vehicles behind them and then with the fast speed they should not take uh, overtake so sudden so this route you have to be very careful in this case so if you, you can drive fast because there's not so many car but uh, once you find that uh, truck you have to be uh, slow down a little bit because it's, uh, there is a possibility they will overtake the car in front of them suddenly so we have to stand by to break and then uh, you see, I try to control the power over here, so I'm not pushing the acceleration too fast uh, to keep the fuel consumption as much as uh, 10 km per liter. You see here, there's an indicator over here, so I will not push too hard, uh, see how, but uh, I still can uh, overtake the slow cars and then uh, enjoy the ride. Yeah, there's an indicator over here, you can see. Uh, I cannot push too hard right now because uh, there is uh, some obstacle uh, in front of me. But after this, you see, you take a look here. Okay. Yes, you see, power up to 100 already, kilometer per hour. And that uh, is still much less than this 100 HP. Now 120. You see the example of this car in front of us. There is no signal that he will take to overtake the car in front of him. So you have to be careful. Is it possible? Oh, there is no possible. Sometimes in uh, emergency situation when you cannot really take a braking, so you have to go through the slow uh, on the shoulder part of the route. They still occupy the whole route, the truck. Is there any car? No car, no car. Uh, I see. They are still far away, but they are still occupying the right lane. <laughs> not, not responsible driver. So they keep the car behind waiting for them. So sometimes I don't know whether the driver is really the one who got the license or sometimes uh, the navigator who drive the, the truck. So sometimes it's very dangerous. I think the, in this case the police they have to make a, a check sometimes who is really driving. Sometimes the driver feels sleepy then maybe somebody replace him. Yeah, 
he's, he's kind enough, he's, he's good, the driver, he's not forcing himself to take overtake. Then it forces us to slow down, he's good. I give uh, two thumbs for the driver. Uh, we cannot do too fast because in some sections like this one, different color, this half a small route, sometimes yeah, like this is jump. So you have to be careful. You have to hold the steering quite well, or the rest will be un uncontrollable. Okay, we are heading to kilometer 100. Now we are at 75 kilometers, and still we have about 300 kilometers to go. Okay. So along this kilometer 200 and above. The route is like this, so as far as we still need a lot of improvement, so we have to be watch out. My navigator is sleeping, so I have to take this video by myself. So basically, from Jetty to 100 km. The main issue is a lot of uh, road improvement on the left side, and then uh, still a lot of cars, a lot of truck. Then from 100 to 200, similar situation, but less roof improvement on the left side. But you see, yeah. And from 200 to 250 is very nice. I think that one is the best. Uh, route of this uh, toll road. Then from 250 to 300, uh, you face a lot of asphalt road and then uh, bumpy, and then sometimes the truck will just overtake without any signal. Okay, I'll report later. to provide a free uh, car so they provide an emergency car to tow your car if there's something problem and then you see now the temperature is 30.5 and then it's cloudy it's very uh, right moment to sleep actually I myself is sleepy too. And then in the middle, there's a big rain, raindrop, I think about one, two kilometers, and then it's dry again. So yeah, it's just like you enter a car wash. So it's, it's good then, because uh, my, the screen here has become very clear now. Can find a lot of rest area like this in between, so you can review the gas station and then also to, uh, go to the toilet and take a short nap. Agung, 
Indralaya and Palembang. Palembang is the last stop at the moment. We are approaching the Kayu Agung toll gate over here. You see this gate is very small though. Yeah, a lot of trucks. I don't know what, what, what are they thinking. It just look, looks like temporary. We are approaching Kotapati, the last exit of this toll route for the time being. And then this is one of the unique bridge built. And then some icon over here. You see the way the day drive is <laughs> Drive the driver something drive as as if there's nobody on the back on the behind. They just turn whatever they want to. I'm still not know why they still they spread these two lanes become one lane. Maybe there's some works, but. Every time I came here, always only one lane of photo. Maybe they have some construction there. So actually this uh, toll road is very important because this connecting, connect between the, the Lampung and Palembang, which is a lot of uh, business, a lot of uh, quite a busy track. And in the past, we have to go through maybe around 15 hours by using a common route, not a tall route, yeah. and then also quite difficult to ride, to drive because the route is small, uh, and then uh, I believe that there is a traffic accident in the past. So right now, it is uh, our president now. He initiated to build a Trans Sumatra, is connecting from Lampung to Aceh. Because of the COVID, now the construction stopped and then uh, it's now up to this Katabati only. I hope that soon there will be another construction. One of the vehicles used this route is this, uh, what is called, the trailer to hold the uh, new cars. And we reached our final destination, which is the Pantol Karamasan. So I uh, will not uh, passing this Empire Bridge. So I told you this morning that we need about eight hours. We depart on uh, I think eight o'clock. It now is uh, the time show three o'clock. So actually this is uh, one hour earlier. What happened to these guys? What are they doing in the middle of the road? Well. The, you see it's 3 o'clock, so I estimate with my speed it's about 3.30 uh, in this morning But uh, it seems like I'm faster than I predict, so uh, we reach Palipal at uh, 3 o'clock already yeah. We're very, not really in hurry, I, not, I still maintain the half of the tank, you see here I still maintain the half of the tank, fuel tank The ratio is uh, 10 km per liter, 10.3. So we are heading to my the final destination, which is my home too. And then uh, it will take about 30 minutes. If no traffic jam, of course. So Palembang is one of the very developed city in Indonesia. I think right now, uh, one of the most advanced city in Sumatra Island. And then a lot of uh, new construction, and then also uh, real commodities like uh, rubber, palm oil, coal, and oil. So a lot of things. So a lot of new construction.
construction and a lot of newcomers also are making uh, start their business in Palembo. It's quite different with 10 years ago, which is it's very silent. Most of the youngers go outside Palembo to study and then never come back. But right now, uh, a lot of people, a lot of new development here. So right now we are entering the ring route. So we are not entering the downtown because at this time there will be a traffic jam. So I choose to go to the left side, the, which is going through the ring road. We are entering one of the bridge called Musi 2, Musi 2A, Musi 2 bridge, uh, which is actually another cloning of the Organ bridge. And then the river that is crossed by this bridge is actually called as Musi River. You will see on the left side there is a rubber factory over there and then you see the river is quite wide and then this is a very historical uh, river as well and then you see on the right side this is the old bridge yeah they're using a frame it's, there's no and if you can you're lucky on the very far over there you can see the ampera bridge i don't know whether you can see it in this such a cloudy and uh, foggy weather but this is you see that this uh, river is very wide and then you can it's reach it with fish and the people catch the fish to make a uh, typical food here called pampak which is like a fish cake and then it's very famous pampak palembang but for me i cannot eat it i'm vegetarian <laughs> i can only eat the pampak with this uh, flour and then no no fish but it's very famous over here and then you see there's a lot of uh, construction so that's why they limit uh, this not as a, I mean this this bridge only this is a new bridge and they, they have an improvement over there you see that they increased the improved and you see it's shaky you see <laughs> scary it's shaky because it's construction I think they copied the model from the, the other the other bridge over there. 